Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. All right, we are doing an outdoor tarot reading. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Whenever you press that play button, I believe that spirit was motivating you to do so. Like on the way in, it gives me an energetic donation to the channel and helps me tune into you. Collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a designated gender, but if I do say he or she, please excuse and forgive. And flip the rules as you see fit. I could be saying you and meaning your person. I could be saying your person and meaning you. And thank you so much for those that are patient with me as I'm working on my volume issues that I'm having. I so appreciate your patience. Thank you so much for your loyalty to the channel. All right, let's find out what's going on. I had on the radio from The Who, the song is over. So in other words, somebody's situation is over. Okay. And then I also seen on one of the other channels, Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles. Sure to make you lose your mind. Life in the Fast Lane. Yeah, okay. Life in the fast lane for somebody. So maybe that's the reason something's over. Let's find out from Spirit. This is just going to be tarot only. Spirit, can you give me a card, please? One card from this particular tarot deck. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, uh. We got the Empress. The Empress is here. A tower is here. The Queen of Cups is here. And the Three of Swords is here. Oh, the poor Empress. The poor empress, who is all every embodiment of the deck, of the queens of the deck in the upright. Three of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. So there was a tower or a change. A change for this Queen of Cups, who is an empress. Who was the embodiment of what this person should have been happy with two 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 on the clock but a tower inevitably happened this queen of cups is very loving to a person is a very loving individual as empress but there was a heartbreak here and a change could have been a change of direction could have been a change in this person's mindset this empress's mind what happened to the empress spirit one more card. What happened to the Empress Spirit? Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. Saying that Three of Wands. Hmm. There could have been more than one person in this Queen of Wands situation. Like, somebody could have been with more than one person and broke the heart of the Queen of Wands, is what I'm saying. Because it just feels like not just a negative energy, but it feels like competition of some sort or some uh, something in that direction like somebody put the queen of wands in competition with somebody else and yet when you see when you understand the idea of what the queen of wands is you realize that there's no competition that the person made a huge boo-boo if you want to call it that a screw up a mistake in coming up against the queen of wands I mean the Queen of Wands, and coming up against an Empress and trying to compete with that person. Could have been somebody that they knew, is what I'm thinking. Somebody that, somebody tried to make, set, uh, what is it called? Somebody tried to send a tower moment to the Queen of cups the empress tried to make a tower moment something crashed down but three of wands can also be 
moving ahead and freedom and growing and spreading your wings. But for me, when I see this, I see like three, so I'm reading it a little bit intuitively differently. Three people in a situation and I'm looking at these three of wands. I, I believe that, yeah, life in the fast lane. So somebody was living life in the fast lane. There was three people in this connection. There was the per, there was the Queen of Cups, Empress slash Empress. There was another person here though that was trying to send a tower moment or did create a tower moment for this Empress. But this this is a person who was, I guess it's like, for some reason I'm getting in my mind that the Empress was a very confident individual, which is what Three of Wands is about, right? Momentum, confidence moving forward, whatever. And, she, and of course, this person, she or he, had to move forward because the relationship ended with whomever they were with. But with, with that said, there was a confidence that made another person jealous when they thought of the Queen of Wands. I mean, why do I keep saying Queen of Wands? I mean, Queen of Cups, dear God, and the Empress. So somebody was jealous of the Empress slash Queen of Cups, because I believe the Queen of Cups and the Empress are the same person. And somebody didn't like that. And so they tried to compete with this Empress. Yeah. And, and try to create a tower moment is what I'm hearing here. Nelly, past, present, or future energy. If you've got a friend of the same sex, watch it because they're trying to create a tower moment for you just in case you hasn't happened yet for some of you. Let me keep going with a different deck. Yeah, you're the empress though. You're the embodiment of every queen of the deck. I have here the high priestess as well, dear God. So there was never any competition and they should never have screwed with you or gone up against you, but somebody tried to go up against you, tried to take away your person and did, did take away your person. And yeah, with trickery, there's a death here. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I see death here. And I see a tower. So death is an ending, but it's also a transformation, an ending of a cycle. So you ended a cycle with somebody. You ended a cycle with somebody, or you're going to end a cycle with somebody. Yep. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Scorpio Pisces Cancer again. There was a reality check and a missed opportunity for a person who superficially or materialistically looked at another person and thought that they were better than you. Oh, an empress, a high priestess, and a queen of cups. Dear God, all the love that you sent to this person, and they go and find some trifling, you know, yo, and ended up leaving you. Nice. Nine of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, you had to let go. You had to overcome that heartbreak. There's a king of wands here, a leader in control, confident, passionate person, but too passionate, living life in the fast lane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why there was an ending of the song, man. You had a song with this person. There might have been a special song the two of you shared. There's an end to that song. Yeah, and you had to rely on yourself, is what I'm hearing. You had to rely on yourself. But you're a high priestess. Intuitively, I think you saw the writing on the wall with this person. You knew they were screwing around on you. You know, live, what is it? What is it? Live hard, die fast type of thing. Yeah. It's just one of these things this person does the most and likes to party. If this clarifies who this person could be, you know. High Priestess came from the bottom to the top in another deck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you are definitely High Priestess gang gang, man. The tower came up in another card, another deck, I should say. Tower came up again. So there was a collapse in this connection between the two of you. Uh, somebody destroyed it. But there's going to be a reality check as well. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody malicious and plotting. Ruthlessly manipulated your person, lied to your person, or presented themselves in a better light than you. Five of Swords. Yeah. Moving on, man. Moving on. You know? You don't want to communicate, but this person does. But you're blocking this person, man, because, you know, 
you knew for your better good that you needed to do that. Maybe what your mother says is true. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And it's just like, whatever, I'm not going to even entertain this nonsense. And this person wants to play games or think they can do better. Go right ahead, man. They ghosted you. Oh, my God. Spirit, come through. Why is everything going on the ground? Oh, my word. Yeah. Now this person's overthinking, having fears and doubts, sleepless nights, the wheel of fortune, the change, happiness, and good karma is coming for you. Yeah, there was a lot of misunderstanding, the ace of wands, and the connection between you and this person. A lot of misunderstanding between you and this friend that you thought was a friend. Yep, it's four of swords, uh, feeling overwhelmed and mentally overloaded, and their solitude is this person. Yeah, this person that wants to take action now, Knight of Swords, right? Wants to impulsively come towards you with four cups. It's a missed opportunity, man. The chariot victory is coming for you. There is a mature person, a king of cups, a uh, vibrational match with you. The queen of cups, that is a compassionate, masculine energy, charming and calm and friendly and loyal. Loyal being the operative word that wants to come towards you or is already in your friend set or even in your life at this point i gotta look at all these cards that are hanging out in the doorway spirit yeah spirit yeah they're in their sadness and grief this person though and reflecting and remembering you though because they ain't getting what you gave to them let's put it that way they abandoned you eight of cups yeah they did yeah they did they want to contact you, but I believe that you are, um, Page of Wands, I believe that you are blocking this person, though. You were a very stable influence, and you needed healing, Six of Swords. Yeah, you left this conflict. You left this hardship behind. This person wants to gift to you, or it could be this new person coming in, this King of Cups wants to gift to you. There is a Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn that wants to come towards you, but that's a slow moving energy, a lot of nights, pages, immaturity. I can see coming a mile away from that situation. There's a lot of immaturity that your person displayed when it came to you and connections and relationships. It's almost like, what can you do for me, you know? What have you done for me lately, baby? You know what I mean? It's like they want somebody to service them. They want somebody to gift to them. It's like very selfish in a lot of ways, this energy that I'm picking up on and very immature. You know, maybe they have a lot of connections with people, but they don't have any deep, meaningful connections unless this person is the, the other person is the one gifting them with that. Like you did gift them with your time, your energy, your sweetness, your caring, that type of thing. Other than that, they're not giving as much. It's all superficial is what I'm hearing about your person's very immature and superficial 1313 as a confirmation of that. You are very stable, you know, and in your community, you're very appreciated is what I'm hearing. Very appreciated, maybe even celebrated by other people. Yeah, that person though watches and wishes and wanting you. But like I said, it's all coming at you sexually. It's all coming at you with what can you do for me because they miss what you did for them. They miss the love and the attention you gave them. They're not getting that from the person that they're with now. Uh, this so-called, uh, you know, frenemy of yours. There's a nine of cups here, the very selfish, materialistic, yeah, greedy. Uh, somebody looked at your person and wanted what they had and they took it from you. You know, they saw the connection as you and them and they wanted it for themselves. They wanted it for themselves, so they took it from you, you know, with lies, trickery, and manipulation. That's gonna work in a long haul because this person's gonna be found out <laughs> And I think if it hasn't happened already, a person's going to really regret it. And they already are regretting it, according to the cards. Right here, two of cups, balance and harmony, partnership. You're going to be partnering up with somebody else. Somebody else that's much more mature. Somebody that's a vibrational match. Somebody that's going to give you what you want. Male or female, just because it says king does not mean it's not a feminine energy. Take it how it resonates with that. All right, any other cards, spirit? Thank you. Yep. They made a bad choice, right? Two of swords. 
there was a misrepresentation and disloyalty on both their parts. The comic that they're with and the, the person that you loved. That you loved. Anything else, spirit? So, yeah, the sun's here. That's it. I'm done. The sun's here. You are going into a new cycle. A new day is forming for you. 15, 15 on the clock. Better days are coming. Hang in there, my friend. Okay? This person may have broken your heart, but they didn't break you. Okay? This friend, so-called friend of yours in the past, may have thought that they did that to you. That they wanted to create a tower for you, but it didn't happen. It isn't going to work out for them. Okay? You moved forward. You healed. If you haven't, as of yet, you will heal from this person and you will find what you are seeking in your heart. Even if you're not going to say it out loud, Spirit hears your request. Thank you so much for joining me in Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Till next time, be safe. Be blessed.